Hey guys, let's talk about the new exciting Pro Wizard of the Coast format, trying to get you to buy as many really bad standard cards as you can afford. I'm talking about Brawl. Now, a lot of YouTubers said Brawl would be a really good format, but that's not where it turned out to be. No one is interested in playing this format. Wizard of Coast has not innovated anything new for a long time. Many of you will say, what about Commander? Commander was not invented by Wizard of Coast. It was invented by a bunch of judges. It's called Elder Dragon Highlander. And of course, they had to change the name, I believe, due to copyrights. But essentially, the most popular format, the format that is bringing them the most money, and the format that's most responsible for the secondary market was not invented by Wizards of the Coast. So, what format was invented by Wizards of Coast? Brawl, which in a whole GP Barcelona, he was the only player. So let me get this straight. In a very competitive and probably one of the most competitive events that you can go to a GP, one person signed up. Now, look, at, go to your local game store. I was there mine Friday night to celebrate my birthday. It was really nice. They had a birthday cake for me. And no one even knows about this format. There's no support. There's no promos. There's no prize support on Wizards of the Coast. They just want, they want to be lazy and sell more packs and not do any work. So they came up with this pseudo format. And the format sucks. You might be like, oh, well, this is just one GP. What about GP Vegas? All those people at GP Vegas, how many people signed up for the official Brawl tournament? 11. Out of the thousands of people, 11 of them wanted to sign up for this format. So the format is supposedly good, but it needs a stronger push. I don't see any reason that you would play this format over ed mainly because ed is much better. So the question is, why did we invent, why did Wizard of Coast invent this format or who invented it and what's the purpose of it? Well, the purpose is very simple. It's to generate revenue. And Wizard of Coast is very lazy. They reprint pretty much all the cards. And if they're not reprinting a card, they're slightly changing the design of the card. Now, on top of this, you might be like, oh, what, what are they spending all their time on? Are they spending all their time on Magic Online? Perhaps Magic Arena? Nope, they're spending the majority of the time on Twitter lambasting their demographic of white males. <laughs> You know, creativity and like, it's just so astounding to me that every Wizard of Coast employee is so to the left and they spend the majority of their time not developing a new better format, not supporting a format, not fixing Magic Online bugs, not fixing Magic Arena. Nope, they're going to spend all their time on social policy, which they are not important enough to change. So I'll just say this, you work at Wizards of the Coast. If you wanna make change, work at, for your senator, work for your congressman, make change at the local government level, I don't know how much change can be made. And Boogie got in trouble for the statement that he made about like things taking time. It's great that Wizards of the Coast is so pro, pro uh, change, but it's a card game. I just want to play the card game. I want these people who are being paid salaries, people that I buy the product from, to focus on the card game when they're at work. I don't want them to be tweeting at Boogie of how much he sucks. I want them to be developing better formats, and this is the absolute apex of disaster. A format of one person. Literally, this is a format where one person entered, and the only reason he entered was probably because he wanted a Reddit post. Otherwise, no one would have entered this uh, tournament. I don't even know what the prize payout was. There's no incentive for running it, and you cannot run it for standard showdown. 
why would any player want to play Brawl over Standard? Why would any player want to play Brawl over ED8? The answer is nothing. There's no reason. So instead of them working really hard on creating a new format, keeping it exciting, they decide to use their time, their office time, to make social political statements. This is why the game is not doing well. Magic Online still has the same bugs it's always had, and it's losing to Hearthstone. Magic Arena, I haven't played it. I didn't beta test it. I'm never going to play it because the one thing that keeps me up at night is I play. I spend a lot of money on mobile games, just a lot of money. I would not spend on a mobile game that I know that they're going to ban me. So I'm going to throw all like five thousand. It would be very easy for me to spend over five thousand dollars on five. Uh, I'm going to say five emblem hero uh, on Magic Arena in a year because that's you know what I spend on mobile games in a year. On one particular mobile game, I quit a uh, Fate Grand Order. This has really gone on a tangent, but I just want to tell you I'm the core demographic for Magic Arena. I have a YouTube channel. I can make videos promoting it. They actually paid me steam money to promote magic planeswalker duel to the planeswalker which i used my own money to buy and then they shut down my account not like because they were banning me i was on good behavior at the time but because uh the whole server crashed for like two months <laughs> like that's how ridiculous it was magic duels right i am the ideal person because i will spend my own money and i will buy 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 i spend about 500 on fire emblem heroes a month I spend about, I used to spend five hundred, which is what is that six thousand a year? Yeah, that's about right. Six thousand a year, probably more because there's special holiday events too. But anyway, I spend that much on Fake Grand Order because I can afford to, and I enjoy those games. I am the core demographic, yet they have no way to make me play the game because they have done such a poor job in Magic Arena. They have done a very poor job in Magic Online. They have done a very poor job in Brawl, the format where it's a multiplayer format and literally one person at a large event, a GP event, officially sponsored, showed up or entered. He's probably the only one with a deck. He probably didn't even have a deck. You know what? I'm going to go on a ledge and say that he didn't even have a deck. He just entered for the memes. This is Wizards of the Coast. This is how incompetent their staff is. That they created a format that they thought would rival ED8s, except in this case, it would be good for new players because it would sell all these booster packs that are sitting there at Dave and Adam's warehouse storage. No matter, even the Hello Kitties, the free Hello Kitty mailbox cannot save some of these boxes, right? I'm looking at Journey to Nyx under 60 bucks, uh, Dragon Maze 61. I mean, what recent set in history? in a standard set in history or a recent invention, what's actually worth the money? None. I can list them all for you. I'm a cat. Not worth the price of a box. What box is worth MSRP? At this point, we all know MSRP is a joke, but how did it become a joke? Because it wasn't always a joke, right? How did a box become so invalid? Like, all you have to do is look at box prices, Look at tournament turnout and realize that, hey, Magic is declining. And why is it declining? It's because the people that they're paying spend most of their time on Twitter and not hard at work. How difficult is it to make a brawl format, to add some promos, to give a store some promos, just ship it with the other promos? How difficult is it to make a YouTube series or hire Tolarian or Wedge to talk awesome about Brawl? No, just give them a little bit of money and they're good. So this is the epitome of everything wrong with Wizard of the Coast. They made a format. They did not support it. One person showed up for the memes, of course. At GP Vegas, 11 people showed up out of thousands. Talk about Brawl at your local game store, see how many people play it, and realize this is a official Wizard of Coast format. 
This isn't like some made up format like Frontier. This is an actual legitimate approved, promoted, sponsored Wizard of the Coast format that one person at a large event showed up to. <laughs> and he probably didn't even have a deck. Anyway, bye guy. Oh, interestingly enough, he's 100% of the meta. So the deck that he played, which I don't know what the deck list is, I don't think they asked him for a deck list, uh, is now 100% of the Brawl meta. The current Brawl meta is based on one deck. Everyone's playing the same deck. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. Anyway, bye guys.